So today I'm here with Blake again and he's kind of challenged me because I have never used a gas powered hedge trimmer like the handheld ones. You guys know I've always used battery. Well this guy, he's never used battery. So today I'm going to be using the gas one, he's going to be using the battery one and we're going to challenge each other to these shrubs behind us. There's an even amount left and right and we're going to go at it. Blake and I got through this. He like threw a bunch on there to make himself look like he did a lot of work, but uh, I really like knows. the electric. They let you get into the bush and just really, you know, manicure them nicely. But they're not as heavy. I know that's that's it allowed you. To that's get, what was killing me. With the bush. I mean, look, I couldn't reach the tops. My arms wouldn't handle it. I'm so used to the Milwaukee's, but uh, over here, Blake was able to get all the way to the top, and I really think it's because it's lighter. It was easier than Ani, so that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah, I could I could get on my tippy toes, honestly, and just kind of you can one hand, -hand it. it. Yeah, where I didn't feel like I could one hand those, yeah. I, I couldn't I couldn't hold it up there long enough to do that. After Blake and I went out and tested this equipment, we came back to his shop to have a little discussion about it. My plan was to really talk to you guys and kind of do an interview type thing. I ended up just turning on the camera and Blake and I just started talking about our day and what we thought of this equipment and I started asking him questions. So I kind of felt like by doing this interview this style, we got the real unrehearsed version of what was really going on in his head and what he thought of this equipment. Because one thing you mentioned was the speed. Right. Because you didn't feel like the electric had the speed. Right. And I noticed that instantly also. The big thing was the speed. But like... But is that is the speed something that would deter you? From the electric did you feel like it slowed you down that much I don't know I'm curious what the price difference would be I guess would be my big concern going into it like cost of the actual setup cost of this unit versus cost of this unit okay 379 versus 299 right does it seem worth it for the 299 to have something that's battery operated instead of gas operated where you don't have to pay for mixed fuel you don't have to pay for the oil. Ooh, didn't really think about that. You don't have to pay for maintenance. production. Because you don't have to pay for any maintenance. There's no maintenance. So would you see it being worth the price for a larger scale business, which you are? Because I know for me, being small scale, it works perfect for me. Right. But on a large scale operation, where you have to make sure your guy has the battery, he's got to make sure it's charged. Right, that's the big downfall that I've even found with having handheld equipment is batteries not being charged. I can't tell you how many times I've showed up to an irrigation job and the sawzalls all be dead, you know, or a deck job and none of the guys' drills were charged. Right. And so I just feel like this would be one tool that did that. But if the truck was set up with a proper charging station, I see a huge benefit, especially on my high-end clients, to just be able to grab that and go trim the one or two bushes that, you know, um, shot up some sprouts, you know, over the week and be able to trim those real quick and then jump right back onto the next thing. I see a huge, uh, you know, opportunity to utilize them there yeah. versus the gas powered. And I know, I know Milwaukee and DeWalt, they all have the chargers that like plug into your cigarette lighter in your truck. So you could actually charge a battery and keep one in the truck. Okay. Yeah. I but, think that, I think for like solo ops and like small knit businesses, that could be you know, very practical. Because your guys are used to having gas on the trailer. Right. But they might, it may take a while to get them used to. Yeah. And unfortunately, hey, make sure you have a battery. Make sure there's a battery in the truck. And, right. 
And actually, I just thought of this, a downside to the Milwaukee batteries working with all their tools is your guy's in here working, he's got his drill out, his drill goes dead, what does he do? He goes and yeah. runs to his truck, he grabs the battery for the trimmer out, sticks it in his drill. Right. It may or may not get back to the truck. <laughs> it never gets back to the truck. You know yeah. it's not going to get back to the truck. So, I mean, I've never really thought of that as a downside to having the batteries for multiple tools, but in a large operation situation, right? it may actually be a downfall. For right, them. which I'm getting away from this style hedge trimmer as it is. Um, we've operated them all, and we're kind of going to that middle of the tier that we operated. Um, that's not the adjustable, but it's the fixed. Do you have one in here so we yeah. can show them? This is the direction that we're kind of going with everything. So and just so, kind of a mid-sized. Right, because on those bushes, if I would have started with this trimmer, I could have not only done the sides, but then I could have reached up there and got the tops without being on my tippy toes all up in the middle of the bush. So let me see that for a second. Because I run a so. combi system that's got the adjustable right. head on the top. And it's pretty heavy. Right. So I always feel like, you know, the arms are getting kind of torqued trying to get up there. This right. is quite a bit lighter yeah. than the adjustable. So have you in the past been kind of an anti-battery guy? I have. I mean, just because I felt like those were kind of like consumer right. grade. Yeah, I hear that a lot because I've been pro-battery since like day one. And I've always caught a lot of flack for being pro-battery. Right. And it's interesting to see a guy with a business your size actually seeing something like this and it having value. Right. I think that's the big thing is because you just kind of, it's one of those things like until you actually try it, um, you just make up all these things in your head on why it's not practical and why we can't do it. And until you actually get your hands on and operate the piece of equipment, I mean, you just don't think that it could be of any use. So is it like a slap in the face, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be very careful with how I answer that <laughs> because... <laughs> so. If y'all haven't seen his video of the Edge Pro, you might want to go check that out. That's where that reference came from. But there's a little... It's kind of an inside joke, but it's there, so y'all will understand if you watch it. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I had to be careful. I was like, <laughs> it is. I was like, I, that's a perfect time to throw right. it in there. It is, and so, I think that's I think that's the biggest issue with a lot of us guys in the industry that are you know want to have this professional persona, and you you know you look at those levels. And I, like I said, I think that the unless you have that eco friendly mindset, that you look at those as a consumer grade product when they're actually not. Right. Um, I think that's a lie that a lot of people um, have bought into and I myself are guilty of it um, because that was my opinion going into the other day. I thought this will this will be cute. This is this will be fun, <laughs> you know, but I did not expect to even compete with you as you were operating my trimmers and me yours. Um, I didn't expect to be able to compete with you. Right. And I was surprised with how I was quickly. I was actually able to trim because even though you don't feel like it's operating as fast you're still getting a nice cut very quickly. <laughs> yeah. And so I don't So what like... was your first reaction when you picked them up? You felt the weight of them? Had that? Had you ever picked up a set before no. then? No, so, that was so my first it, time to ever have so one in my hand. So did it feel cheap or did it feel like, oh wow, that's heavier than I thought it was? No, it was more the, this is cute <laughs> type thing. <laughs> it was just like, I grabbed, I was like, okay. You know, I kind of looked at them for a second, figured out how to operate them. They were kind of like my skill saw, luckily, that I'd used before. And so I was right to trimming. And uh, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick and that easy. No. So, and like I said, I was anti. I was wanting a reason why to hate on them. I really was. I was looking forward to being <laughs> like able to say, why my, on, yeah, why my stuff's on, better. Why are you using battery? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and you weren't able to blast me quite as bad as you thought. No, not at all. I'm disappointed <laughs> I'm getting frustrated like <laughs> like something fierce to... I've had to like do a outro he's about to beat you I just hope you know that <laughs> you right there so all right I've shot this outro what like 10 times yeah I think you more. Got it. yeah so I think that yeah you got it in one of those shots I got it no
You got it this time. You want me to do it this time? Yeah, those other times. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't do those times. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, this one's it. So, though. what should they do? I think that. Do you, you think they should the, hit the thumbs up? Yeah, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, th- don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Or if you do give it a thumbs down, comment down below and give us some kind of reasoning. If you want to give it a thumbs down, go to his channel. I'm fine with that. Just tell me why. And then, if there's something that we may have missed, let us know, and we'll be sure and elaborate on yeah, it. Yeah, leave a comment go check. down below. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Comments. We love comments. Yeah, let's And just... I'll get on there and comment for you. Well, let's just go. <laughs>